just love his voice. And of course, we love catching up with him even more. John Way is with us now. Good to see you. How are you? Really? Yeah. I, I, it's great to see you. Look wonderful. I love I, the head. <laughs> and John, I want to give our viewers kind of a, a recap since you and I were chatting before we got started. You were actually one of our first musical guests on the Morning Blend almost six and a half years ago. I love being able to catch up with you again. I remembered how much I enjoyed talking with you last yeah. time. Obviously, a lot has changed, but as you said, you're still rocking. You're still doing your thing. Well, you know, I have no choice. It's what I do. You know, and, and you write songs and then you put them out and then you have to tour. But, you know, I think primarily being a songwriter, uh, that half of the deal is you've got to go out and play for people. I mean, playing live is a wonderful thing. I mean, last year we had a three CD um, compilation come out of acoustic music called Wooden Heart. And then uh, about two months ago, there was um, a four song EP came out called Anything with all brand new songs. And then there's a standalone of Masters of War, Bob Dylan's song that came out a month ago. And now next week we have a, uh, a greatest hit CD coming out called Singles. So there's so much come out. I mean, I couldn't really be sitting at home now. I really could, it would make me nervous. I mean, I have to be out. Well, of course, you are getting ready. We want to get people up to date. You are going to be performing tonight at Ruth Eckerd Hall. So yeah. we want to make sure and share information there. You're actually playing with men at work this time around. So I'm curious about that relationship and uh, what people can expect tonight. Well, it's um, we're doing an unplugged set, um, which is kind of, it's got percussion and electric bass, electric guitars, but it's more of a storyteller's kind of, wander through my life there's some of the more darker songs in there like downtown masterpiece of loneliness bluebird cafe and also missing you uh midnight rendezvous when i see you smile it's like a it's a really wonderful thing ruth eckard is actually my favorite gig in america is the best uh the best acoustics of any indoor gig i've ever played and our friend bobby rossi who keeps bringing us back um it's just a, it really feels like part of, if we weren't playing Ruth Eckerd and seeing Bobby, um, I wouldn't feel like I was on tour. <laughs> I love hearing that. We have heard that too about Ruth Eckerd. So I like that you were able to give some shout out there, but you know, just mentioning some of your songs, you know, when I see you smile and things like that. I actually went back last night before I was getting ready to talk with you and watch some of the old music videos. And I'm an eighties girl. I still love the eighties music. There's just a vibe there that especially you feel when we hear your voice, when we see your video in your opinion though, how have maybe the audience changed or how have you kind of changed perhaps, you know, since when we do hear those songs, it takes us back. Well, I think they were fairly, um, they were serious songs. I know the ages gets this rap of people running around with blue hair and stuff, but I think there was a lot going on in our progression. The people that were born in the same period, the sixties and the seventies, I mean, by the time they hit the eighties, they were experiencing emotional kind of, uh, they were in the game, you know, they were falling in love, falling out of love, having kids getting divorced on the dance floor. It was explosive, you know, and, and you can't hold that moment. You can, you can use it as a reference to enjoy the past and remember love and remember your friends in a certain period, but you grow up. So the nineties happened after that and then the millennium. And we're all on the same bus, you know, it's like a Ken Kesey thing. We're on the bus. We're all together. When I perform the songs in that situation, I honestly feel like I'm talking to family because these people have been with me from the babies, you know, and um, there is a connection that you wouldn't get playing to uh, a brand new audience. I think, I mean, a lot of people show up for the new songs. A lot of people show up for the old songs. If you give them both, you're moving forward all the time. And the story gets better. As you get older, you look back and it's a wonderful thing. Even the darkest stuff is wonderful because it's been our lives together. So I try and uh, perform my life. You know, I, I, it's my life and the audience and myself have an exchange. 
and somebody's trying to call me. Hang on. Okay, well, John, we have to we have to let you get back to your life. We heard the phone ring. He's got to pick it up there. Thank you so much, John. I'll just get a wave to you because, again, you're hitting the stage tonight. Ruth Eckerd Hall, of course, check out their website so you can get tickets and see John and men at work. Great to see you again. I hope no, to see you again soon. Absolutely beautiful. The hair looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we had a chance to connect again. Hey, I still love seeing you with the longer locks, too, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to grow it out, but he said I didn't. <laughs> I look like I'm released from prison. But, uh. <laughs> oh. oh, so good to catch up with you. Take care, okay? Bye bye, love. Bye bye.